Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda, and today I just wanted to show you another really cool feature inside of Artistly that you may not be aware of or realize you can use it in this way. So here I am inside my Artistly account, and I am in my personal designs folder over here on the right, and I just have some different images in here that I have created over the last couple of days. So I want to show you what I'm going to do with some of these. I think I want to create a bundle of clip art using this little chibi character. And I want her to just be, I want the same character in, you know, different uh, color outfits, different hair, headbands, different color hair, things like that. So instead of running a fresh prompt over and over and over again that may not produce the same exact character, I am instead going to come up here to AI Design Assistance and I'm going to click on the Photo Editor. All right. And down here at the bottom, I'm going to select Choose from Library and I'm going to select that image right there that I just showed you. And in this, I am going to type, change her sweatsuit to, to blue. And that's all I'm going to tell it to do. I just wanted to change the sweatsuit to blue. And now it's done. And now she has the blue sweatsuit and it did change her headband to blue too, but that's okay because I forgot to tell it to do that. I wanted to keep that matching. So we can go in here and we can do this again. Photo editor. Let's grab the same one. Change her sweatsuit to brown and we just repeat this process until we have as many of these for our little clip art bundle of this character as we want and it is just super easy to go in there and just tell it how you want to change the image so you keep the same character but can change things about now here she is with the brown sweatsuit so we've, you know, changed her sweatsuit to different colors. We can come in here now and we can tell it to uh, change her hair color to brown and her eyes to green. So we can go with different color eyes, different color hair. There's just so many different ways that you can switch these things up to, you know, like I said, create a bundle of images where you are using the same character over and over again, but for, you know, different color hair, different color outfits, and things of that nature. Now, it did change her hair a little bit here. I'm not real thrilled with that, but I would just run it again because a lot of most of the time it doesn't change the hair it just changes the color but you see it did change it to brown and it gave her green eyes and it kept the pink sweatsuit okay and it's not just uh things you know just clothing that you can do let's go back here photo editor and i have this little character holding a milkshake in her hand, okay? So I'm gonna tell it to get rid of the milkshake and make her 
sweater black. And we'll go and see how see how it does. Give it a minute to. All righty, and there she is. It did get rid of the milkshake. It left her hand the way it is, though. We're going to have to do something about that. And it changed her sweater to black, but it also changed her T-shirt to white. But again, that's something little. That's not a big deal. Let me think of what else we can put in her hand. All right, how about a, put a, put a Starbucks coffee cup in her hand. Uh, no, put a baseball bat in her hand. Something a little different. Well, it did give her a baseball bat, but it put it in the wrong hand. That's okay, though. That's all right. That was my mistake. I'll show you what I should have done. Let's go back here. Let's go grab her again right here. Replace the milk shake with a baseball bat and make her sweater black leave everything else the same but again it's ai we know that not every generation is going to per be perfect not every generation is going to give you exactly what you wanted you just have to you know go back and fix things occasionally All right, it did give her the baseball bat, but it did change her sweater a little too much. I'm not liking that. Um, maybe you would, maybe it wouldn't matter, but I probably wouldn't use this one. I would generate, again, you know, something different. But let's do a couple more. Let's take this cute little baby here. Change the t-shirt to blue and and the rose to blue and there we go we have the blue t-shirt and blue flower now and again you can change even more let's go back let's grab this baby again and let's say, replace the rose with a baby bottle. And there it is. The rose is gone and in its place is a baby bottle. So that is how you use this. There's a few other things. Let me show you really quickly. Um, let me scroll through here. Scroll on down. Let's take this image. It's a black and white image of the sunflower and butterfly. And I'm just going to tell it to add color to this image. And now if you look, it colorized it and it looks amazing. Just telling it to add color. So if you have black and white images, you know, you can colorize them. Let's do this sofa here. Uh, change the throw blanket to beige. And we'll just let that alone. See what we get. All righty. And it replaced that blanket with a beige one. And you see there's a book lying on this sofa. So let's go in here, take the sofa once again, and let's say replace the book with a sleeping kitten. Okay, and it's ready, and there it is. It replaced that book, 
and put a sleeping kitten in its place. So you can do so much with this photo editor feature. Like I said, it's not, you can edit photos, obviously. Um, let's look here, what do I have? These are, I don't have any actual photos in here, but let's say, let's take this dragon that I do have. And you see that glowing moon orb. Let's change the glowing orb to a very pale blue. Let's see what happens there. All right, and that's what it did. It changed that orb to a pale blue instead of the yellow. So that looks really great too. You could change the colors of the flowers in here if you wanted to. You can do anything you want. This sofa, you could remove the blanket. You could remove those pillows. You could change the kitten to a dog. You can do so many things. So I just wanted to show you this photo editor feature. And like I said, it, you may not have realized you could use it with your uh, generated clip art images uh, in this way. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please, please, please drop them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.